MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It's a technique that's been around for about 35 years and can now be found, found in many tens of thousands of hospitals worldwide. But Aberdeen has been involved in research in MRI since the 1970s, really since the technique uh, began. The, uh, the world's first uh, clinically used scan, MRI scan, was done here at, at Aberdeen University in 1980. Uh, MRI is incredibly useful as a medical imaging technique uh, for diagnostic purposes because it can see inside the body in a completely non-invasive fashion. And MRI is good not only at seeing the anatomy, uh, the shape of, uh, of organs inside the body, but it can, it can also pick up disease. For the last 10 years or so, we've been developing in my research group um, a new variant of, of MRI called fast field cycling MRI, um, which in many respects is quite different to, to standard MRI and we hope will improve diagnosis. So what's the difference between these techniques? Well, in standard MRI, each scanner operates at a fixed magnetic field strength. Now these scanners produce fantastic quality images and are very good for diagnosis. We have built, we've designed and built special scanners, this is a prototype behind me, special scanners in which the magnetic field is not fixed. In these scanners, the magnetic field under our control uh, is able to be switched rapidly up and down between different levels. It's almost having, like having a scanner um, that operates at a thousand different magnetic fields rather than just one magnetic field. And in doing so, we can measure how the T1 relaxation, relaxation time of tissues changes with field strength. And that the shape of that curve is used, if you like, as a fingerprint of disease, technically called a biomarker of, of, of disease. And that's the new thing that we can measure that cannot be measured by a standard MRI machine. There's a serious, uh, potentially serious medical condition called deep vein thrombosis. Uh, where a blood clot occurs deep in, in, inside the veins, inside the tissues. The blood clot just being there stable is not in itself a hazard, but if parts of the blood clot break off and travel through the, uh, through the veins, then they can lodge somewhere like the heart or, or the brain, and that can cause serious problems. So of interest to clinicians is the stability uh, which, of, of a blood clot, which is linked to the age of the blood clot. And presently, there's no very good method of, of, of determining that, um, through existing imaging techniques. But we believe, um, through, through experiments we've done on test tube samples, um, that fast field cycling MRI may be able to get a handle on that information 